my neighborhood, Ajusco, is in the area of Coyoacán. Also, the neighborhood itself, it became more populated, so the feeling of community is not so strong now. The government didn't think it could be inhabited because it was very, very harsh. Uh, formerly, was only rock, volcanic rock. Mostly men were working. They went to work in different places. As I said, mostly as construction workers because many of them were illiterate. And women stayed at home raising children. They were the, the beginning and the heart of the organization for all the rights and for the community. Uh, they went also to, to the central office, as I said, to demonstrate and to ask for like a sewage. We had to, to go to a, a, another neighborhood to carry like a, a barrels with water. And by mule, I mean, you know, because there was no way to, for a car to enter the, 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 the road, if you can call it that way. And then they made a road and then on, on trucks or vans they brought the barrels with water. But then after that, of course, they used the water for constructing, for making concrete mix and so. They organized once like a big demonstration in a, one of these avenues. We are getting near to the central office of uh, the municipality. And they got all the dirty clothes of babies and children and made like like uh, drying lines for the clothes in the street, like very li large lines of dirty clothes from the neighborhood to the central office, like uh, asking for water and for sewage. And so this kind of thing, like very improvised. I left the neighborhood long time ago now, like almost 20 years ago. I think I destroyed a bit of myself when I left the neighborhood to become myself. We, we were saying that this transformation or no transformation is bad. Even destruction is good. So my mother is a good example of that. She was still young and right now she's uh, an activist for human rights. Still now, she's 72 years old and she's still working in human rights and like uh, many of, of these women I mean, they, they were not like uh, prepared for that and they never thought on that. And, but they, they became uh, political actors still now. And so this is the best thing that could happen to any community. The transformation of the individuals into something that is related to community, but not in a naive way, you know. So at the end, they succeed in a, in a way in many of the, the, the things they, they wanted, and they, I mean, they wanted may, mostly for us children, but also as individuals, I would say, their own transformation, like from construction workers into fighters and activists, or housewives into political actors, you know, and this is, this is important. You know, all families, they keep material on their roofs, Everybody. It's like you say, you never know. This might be useful for something. And this is, this is really my motto, you know? Nothing is garbage, in fact, you know? Because they, they still think that they can keep growing the houses, you know? Look at that there. They keep some material on, on the roof. And they, they don't really care about the, the if, I mean, if it's organized or not, because there is a, some specific order. So from 2001 to 2008, I wrote this story and collected images from, from friends and neighbors and, and, and relatives. Uh, so to make the book that I published finally in Glasgow in 2008, after or for my exhibition at CCA. This is my uncle. This is the guy who sold the land to my father. I mean, he took it illegally and then my father uh, had to fight for the right of it. But he was uh, like a pilgrim, let's say, you know, one of the first ones. Many of them became construction workers. And uh, this is myself and my brother, Jesus. And this is my mother. 
This is the landscape of the neighborhood. There's some houses, these images of demonstrations, evictions. So this, this book is, is uh, the result of a long, long process. So we made all this in the 80s for my father's wheelchair. <laughs> the water is uh, super stinky this day. Oh my God. This kind of detail is, it was useful for my father to wash his head or his teeth every day and, you know. At the end he was quite limited physically, so he, he was not so, he was just like uh, doing things, you know, like, a, that's my mother's portrait. But you can see all the adaptations, modifications like that, weird staircase, you know, it's like a, because of the wheelchair to go around, you know. Mm -hmm. But it, it, this changes a lot also, you know. That, that used to be my, my bedroom. Here there's a kindergarten. As I understand, this uh, auto-construction project is not necessarily about my own biography, but it's using my experience as a source of, uh, as material. Identity is something that is not finished. I think the self-destruction is part of the construction or the development of the identity. So in order to arrive to become oneself, one has to destroy parts of our education or my education, prejudices, things I think uh, are part of my identity. Three, four times a day, send me to buy tortilla. I want quesadilla Ever I have to go Have to go To the tortilleria So I can see ya I'm not hungry at all So how often do you come back and visit? Not so often. No? No. No. Not really. But we still like each other, my mother and me. <laughs> One of your other sons. <laughs> Perfecto. Bueno. Adiós, ma.